Today, today, I'm, today I need your help. Today I need your help figuring out which image I'm going to go with. So on Fiverr, I went on there. I had some people design some images for me. One of them looks a lot like my previous image. Another one has some changes to it. I think. Let me let me let me let me let me go back a little bit. Ah oh, man, not you again! Every time I'm doing down with here, that I run into paper. you. Go put that toilet paper up. Oh, he's on you collecting toilet, toilet paper now. Man, this toilet paper right now is is more valuable than those Funkos you playing my, with all the time. You need to go on to my man. I stick my collected man. Oh, let me go hide my on toilet bullshit. paper. God, I'm tired of bumping into you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, become part of the Wayne Co. crew. My name is Wayne and this is Wayne Co. Now, I went on Fiber and had some people design new logos for me. Now, one of them looks a lot like my previous logo and one of them still looks like my previous logo, just with some changes I don't know that I really like. I'm going to let you guys vote on it though, so I'll put the images here and I'll put one here and I'll put one one and I'll put one two and down in the comments below let me know which one you want me to turn into a sticker because I'm going to turn one of these into a sticker. So if you'll just let me know which one of these I'm going to turn into a sticker, that would be awesome. I'm going to go over Thanos today. I wasn't going to go over Thanos to be completely honest with you. Thanos is not one of my favorite pops or my favorite characters in general. But I got Thanos from the ECC shared label GameStop for one reason. The reason's really simple. He's missing his arm. So this is going to be the first one that Thanos is missing his arm. That's why I picked this guy up. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have picked him up. Because like I said, I'm just, I'm not a Thanos fan. So, so I just, I had no reason to pick him up other than the fact that this is the first time he's going to have a part that physically comes off of him. Because of that, I had to have it. But like I said, if it wasn't for that, I, I would have never picked him up. And maybe they knew that. Maybe that's why they designed him like that. And sometimes I often wonder if that's why they do the things that they do. This is a really awesome box. So it, to me, it looks a lot like um, one of the previous boxes because it just has the Avengers. It doesn't even have this one on there. So it probably very well is just his old box with the shared label on the front of it sticker shopping I mean and all of us do it all of us are guilty of it at some point sticker shopping I didn't sticker shop I went after the decapitating arm so this is a really big pop it's a really heavy pop his body's got a lot of weight to it the hand comes separate from the body stick that on there and goes on Guys, that is really awesome, and it goes on really well, so it's nice and tight. It's not going to fall off of him, not going to come off. Here, let's take a closer look at this guy. So, like I was telling you, this is a really awesome Thanos. I mean, look at all the detail they packed into him. His hand here comes off. Stick it back on there. Like I was saying, I picked this guy up just because he has the decapitating hand. I will not put him out. He will be a strictly in the box collection because he has the decapitating hand. Now, if if he didn't have the decapitating hand and I could put him out and not have to worry about maybe his hand disappearing because, you know, stuff happens. Maybe my new puppy gets a hold of it maybe it falls off maybe 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 you know the maybes the maybes are endless is exactly what could happen with this guy hey do you you want to look at one more thing because I, I picked up one more thing and i've been on a debate on if i should open it or not so yeah let's check it out so i picked up this guy from gamestop not that long ago also now I'm going to be honest with you, I don't typically collect statues, but you could see the price on this guy. I could not turn down the price because I like collecting everything Deadpool. And because I like collecting everything Deadpool, I could not resist going after this one. Now here's a debate I have. I have a few stickers, so I have one up here that tells me that 
here let's take a closer look at it so as you can see this sticker here tells you that it is one in ten thousand right now my sticker up front here tells me it's one in three thousand so which one of those are correct is it one in ten thousand or one in three thousand not that i really think it matters I, i'm not convinced it matters at all I'm gonna get this guy open from the bottom, then we'll take a closer look at him. This was another one I didn't know that if I would open on. So this was another one that I wasn't real sure about opening and how to open it because I don't really sit down and do statues. But like I said, for the for the price of this one, I couldn't turn it down. And I don't know who would have turned it down at that price point. Come on, there you go. Oh, they got this guy like sealed in there very well. So we got tape and more tape and more tape and more tape. There we go. Sit you here. <laughs> oh man, this this thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get you some good shots with this camera right now. And I'm hoping that I can get some really good ones with it. So let's get this stuff right here put to the side for a minute and see what kind of magic I can do. So this is a really cool statue. I mean, he has he has his pink bunny slippers on, as I know you've seen, and, and the the doors actually have the chimichanga, like the food truck on there. We have the headlights, the front grill. He's he's got a tire, the mirrors. It's just really really awesome. Lots of detail packed into this guy. It is extraordinary. You can see the lacing on the swords themselves. I mean, his wristbands. He's got these uh, straps on. It's just really, 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 really packed in with detail. More than I would have imagined, to be totally honest with you. And like I said, I'm not really a statue collector. So the statue is appealing to me because I like everything Deadpool. And I might collect more Deadpool statues now that I have this one. Only because I get to see the quality that went into it. And the quality that went into it is extraordinary. I mean, they took a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of, of just love putting this together. It's a really, really awesome sculpt. And I'm really glad that I picked it up. Now, would I have picked it up if it wasn't on sale? I probably wouldn't have. And I wouldn't have regretted it because I wouldn't have thought anything else of it. But now that I have him... And I look at it and I think I would have regretted not picking this guy up. But I've got him. I'm going to display him with a few other like statue designer plastic style stuff that I have already. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications. Become part of the Wayne Co. crew. Without you, there is no crew. Until next time.